What I've learned from major injuries is that um, they're all different. You know, everybody can sprain an ankle, everyone can blow a knee, everyone can hurt their neck, you know, and each individual has an individual experience where one person may be fine with a torn ligament and can continue on their daily life and have no uh, emotional or mental struggles. The other person may see it completely different and, um, you know, have issues that come along that were completely unexpected. Um, it's a it's a very unique situation to be hurt in, in nature in general, but as a high functioning society, it, it definitely hinders us from being as productive as we want to be a lot of times. So um, realistically, I just encourage people to be gentle with themselves, find ways to stimulate yourselves that um, still maintain being social, and uh, really just doing what you can to properly do your physical therapy because nothing is nearly as bad as if you have to go do the exact same thing over and over again because you didn't do it properly the first time. In order to be a world-class competitor in the sport that I am in, I, uh, you know, I definitely have to have a balance of different disciplines, um, always remaining being a student and open-minded to change. On top of it, there's a nutrition aspect, um, the physiology of our health, or what our diet, nutrition, all of those things come into play. Uh, we also have um, yeah, just a, a vigorous schedule of, of maxing out our cardio, but at the same time maximizing our rest and recovery. It, it's a science and it's constantly evolving. It's, it's changed from 10 years ago and it'll probably be different 10 years from now, but you know, keeping up on the times and the, the most, um, I don't know, the most uh, valid information right now based off of different sciences and different uh, physiological testing and research. I train every day. Um, in between fights, it's definitely still a nine to five as far as my workload. Um, you know, that being said, the the rest and recovery in between practices is, is definitely part of the job. Um, as far as a training camp and an actual competition, I really rev up and get into a schedule and a system about eight to ten weeks out. Um, the first two weeks being getting in shape and starting to get into a rhythm and routine, and then the last eight weeks being very structured and very specific as far as everything that goes into an actual competition. So. Um, Although every day I'm doing something to contribute, uh, either mentally, physically, emotionally, to my craft, the main stretch and getting into each and individual competition is an eight to ten week process.